Welcome back to Stuff About Tutorials. Today I will be showing you how to use Hermite polynomials in MATLAB. Why would you want to know how to do this? Well, maybe you'd like to approximate some sort of unknown function using Hermite polynomials and you'd like to know how to code them in MATLAB, so I'll be showing you how to use Hermite polynomials in MATLAB today. Check out the video description as I'll try and leave written instructions there. So let's get started. <clears throat> Um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to type some x and this essentially turns x into a symbol So because we know that MATLAB is a numerical um, Language and it will give you an answer it and it usually returns a numerical answer um, But if you would like an answer in terms of symbol so like here this answer at the bottom in the command window is in symbolic form if you would prefer that, um, then you can just say sums x and that turns x, which is the independent variable of our Hermite polynomials, into a symbol. Um, right, so now the actual Hermite function is just Hermite h, so that's the function that will produce the Hermite polynomials. And then the first input in that function is the degree of the polynomial, so I'm just going to put 2. And then the next is the independent variable of the polynomials, which is x. So now if I run this, as you can see in the command window here, I get my Hermite polynomial of degree 2. And yeah, that's basically it. You can obviously get the Hermite polynomial at a certain number, but just type in that number instead of x. And yeah, that's basically it. <clears throat> if you want to know how to use Hermite polynomials in MATLAB, this is the easiest way I know how. And if you know of another way, then leave a comment below and make sure to subscribe for more videos.